Okay, so hi there everyone. We're going to continue with our playlist and course in mathematics in the modern world. Remember in the last video, we talked about the Fibonacci sequence and the numbers. And this time we're going to have some extension with that. And then let's see more concepts and um, definitions regarding okay, this um, no sequence of numbers, which we call the Fibonacci numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. So remember that we defined a Fibonacci uh, sequence by this recursive formula where f of n, where n is the nth number, is equal to the number before it plus um, a number even before it. So um, in essence, um, to have this nth Fibonacci number, we need to get um, a number, its previous number, plus um, the previous number, bef the, the number even before that. So um, we're in the first and the second numbers are both one. Even though there are some who wants to define the Fibonacci number starting with the zero. Okay, so zero plus one is one. Okay, and but uh, let's have this definition um, as it is. So, for instance, if you want to get the third Fibonacci number, which is this, what do you want to? Uh, what you do is to have n minus one. The get to get the um, f of three, you need the you need to have the second number plus the first number. So the second number is 1, the first number is 1, so you add 1 plus 1, and that's going to be 2. And then you, you go on, okay? So for instance, if you want the um, this um, number here, I don't know, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth Fibonacci number, you need to get the seventh Fibonacci number added with the sixth Fibonacci number. So you get 21. Um, in essence, recursively, you can get the, the next Fibonacci number by adding the two previous ones. Okay, so 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, 5 plus 8 is 13, and so on. And you can see here, I listed until 2,584. And then, of course, the list goes on and on and on. Okay, now, we will have a little bit of task um, in this video. What we're going to do is to take the ratio of two successive Fibonacci numbers. Sorry. Fibonacci numbers, and that is we're going to divide each of the number before it. So for instance, we're going to divide 1 divided by 1, 2 divided by um, 0, 3 divided by 2, 5 divided by 3, and then so on. So let's answer them one by one, shall we? So let's move on here. Let's uh, let's put that um, all the way down. Okay. And I want to um, let everyone see these. Okay. So again, we're going to divide each um each um by the number before it so it's already done here um it's already in the form of a ratio and um you may want to use your or you know you may use your calculators it will be very handy to have those so what is one divided by one obviously that's one okay two divided by one that's obviously two um three divided by two let's put it in decimal notation okay so three divided by two is 1.5 or one and a half five divided by three is um, 1.67 or let's say let's have four decimal places shall we so it's 1.6 and 6 is repeating um, um, infinitely so let's just have 1.6 um, 6 6 6 7 and then of course uh, we round up, we rounded up on the fourth decimal place um, next is we have 8 over 5 and then we're going to observe what happens Okay, after we we do the, we take the ratios and then divide each number by a number before it, we're going to observe what um what is happening with the ratios. Okay, so eight divided by five, that's going to be one point six. So let's write it down. One point six. It's terminating, so there's no number after that. Uh, Thirteen divided by eight, that's gonna give us one point six two five. So one point six. To five, it also terminates there, so that leave it be. Um, Twenty-one divided by thirteen, that's gonna give us um, some a number. It it repeats after two, four, six every decimal six decimal places. So um, I'll just get four. Okay, um, one point six one five. Six one five. Um, I'm using my calculator actually. Six one five. Um, let's round it up here to four. Actually, it should be 3, 8 after, yeah. Okay, let's move on. Um, 34 divided by 21. Um, hopefully, you're, you're, you're with me um, while, while we're doing this. Um, get your, grab your calculator and then, uh, you know, um, do, the, do the things here also. 
uh, presented here. 34 divided by 21 is going to give us um, 1.619. Um, 1 1.6190. So that's you don't need to put zero. It's it's actually zero four. So by four we um, would retain. Next we have five 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 divided by thirty four. That's gonna give us one point six seven. One point uh, six one sorry six point uh one point sorry six one seven six. There should be a four after that. Uh, we have eighty nine divided by fifty five. That's going to give us 1.618. Um, the next number is, um, actually it repeats 1818181818. So it should be 6181818. So it should be 2 here. Let's round it off. Round off. And then uh, 144 divided by 89. That's going to give us 1.6179. So 1.6189. Seven, nine, seven. Let's round it off. It should. It is. It looks like a oh, six one seven nine seven. So let's round it off on the fourth decimal place. But it rounds off to ten. So it's going to be six one eight. Okay. Now we want to observe what is happening with the with the ratios here. So. Notice, um, in the first one, we have 1. Second one, we have 2. 3, we have 1.5. And then we have 1.6 uh, and lots lots of 6 after that. We have 1.6. We stop with 1.6. We have 1.625. We have 1.615. And then after, after that, we can see that we're stuck with 1.61. Next is 1.619. And then we have 1.617. And then we have 1.618. And then we're stuck with 1.618 after that. Okay? And this one, this particular number here. And then if you're going to continue, actually, you're going to see numbers which is very, very close to 1.618. Okay? And this 1.618, actually, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call the golden ratio or the divine proportion. Okay? So this golden ratio... Or divine proportion is one very important constant in mathematics, and it's actually um, the underlying um, constant in nature. It is denoted by um, the Greek letter phi, okay, um, or phi, sorry, um, which is which has this formula: one plus square root of five, or one of uh, 1 plus root 5 all over 2, which is equal to 1.618, which is pretty much very close here with um, with change. Okay, so that's the golden ratio or the divine proportion. That's how we got it um, from the values of the, of the Fibonacci um, sequence or the Fibonacci numbers. But this golden ratio is not only found in the values of the Fibonacci numbers. We're going to see this... Um, more so um, as we go along the topic actually this is very and uh, this is a very natural constant actually and um we're going to uh you're going to see and appreciate this even more okay in the topics to come so that's it for this video um hopefully you liked it and um please don't forget to share and subscribe okay so see ya